Probably the closest I could come to a nutshell description of the center is it's an organization that views the world we live in through birds. The center is a multifaceted organization. We have a medical facility where we treat injured birds. We have our public facility, which is a collection of birds of prey from all around the world that we utilize for education. The public are welcome to come and visit and explore those birds on guided tours and during flight demonstrations. And then we have our oil spill response facility, which is built specifically to deal with birds in the event of a significant oil spill here in the area. And then finally, our research component. Birds will tell us about what's happening out there in ways that no other indicator can. Birds are very sensitive to changes in the environment. The canary in the coal mine, has anybody ever heard of this before? Yeah, people used to take a bright little yellow canary down in a cage with them when they went to work in the mines. The mines are a very dangerous place to be. Sometimes there was a gas present. People couldn't see it, they couldn't smell it, but it would kill people very quickly if it was present. And if that gas was present, the bird would die first. Birds are a warning system for human health. That's why we think they're so important. We think that by watching bird populations, we can figure out where those problems are and fix them before they start affecting me. What we offer as an experience is unique enough that there's always a surprise factor. We have 120 birds from all over the world. They can be intimidating, they can be endearing, but they somehow evoke a response in us, whether you're six years old or 60 years old. They pull something out of us merely by the exposure, by that visual experience, and we can build messages on that attention to try to exchange some of this information that we're fortunate enough to be able to gather here. Twelve percent of all birds worldwide are at risk of becoming extinct in the next 100 years. That's 50 times the historical rate. Birds are one of the best monitors for the health of the ecosystem globally that we have. I think it's important for people to realize that the work we do here is not solely uh, about birds. It's about what they're going to tell us about our lives. Education is a critical component in that. People have to understand the problems, people have to understand the birds, and we have a really great opportunity to do that here. <laughs>